Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are back in the data center because quite a few videos ago uh, maybe not that many I was trying to RAM upgrade my my awesome Lenovo X3650 Model 5 with an additional 256 gigabytes of RAM and it uses DDR4 RAM and I made all kind of mistakes in that video so uh, I want to test some of that in, in this video uh, my main mistake was that I was trying to, to mix LR dims with R dims and uh, I should have known those don't mix and also in my mind this uh, server needed to have six blocks of memory to each processor but it's actually a generation older so it only needs four blocks which means that there is four memory channels for each of the CPUs so uh, uh, what I want to try today is the, um, because this server in the documentation uh, is only able to do up to 32 gigabytes of our dim RAM blocks but it can be because the documentation was made before 64 gigabytes our RIM dims was available which has been seen before I did a similar thing with the with the IBM X3650 model 2 over here that was really able to do 256 gigabytes of memory even though the documentation only said that it could do 128 but at the time being those RAM blocks was not available and they haven't bothered to update the documentation when the RAM blocks was available so I am um, I want to shut this server down so the first thing that I will try is to see if the server will use R dims the ones that are in the server right now is LR dims and that's I believe it stands for load reduced dims so they're slower or something so they are somewhat reduced but these RAM blocks are the first one that are developed and usually you have to wait for a pretty long time for it to be available as, a, as just R dims and so when the server was created there was no R dims available of uh, 64 gigabytes so in the documentation of the server it says that it can only do uh, up to 32 gigabytes of R dims but it can do 64 gigabytes of LR dims and uh, so I want to test if it will do R dims in 64 gigabytes sizes and that should be pretty easy it should just be taking the, the, the RAM blocks out that are in there now and then putting the four blocks in and um, see if that works and if that works then we can go ahead and we can test if if one CPU can take R dims and the other CPU can take LR dims if it's possible to mix that I know it's not the greatest thing but will it work that's what we're gonna be testing if the server does not take R dims at all it's gonna be a shorter video so uh, let's get into it okay just a quick look at what we are working with of course as I said this is the Lenovo X3650 model 5 it's running server 2019 at the moment it has six blocks of memory so a total of 384 gigabytes of uh, RAM it has uh, two CPUs and these are the E5 2643 version 3 and they run at uh, 3.4 gigahertz two processors these uh, processors are optimized for low uh, core count and uh, high performance of each core it's a CPU that is meant for databases and core licensed software so for a bit of RAM testing I don't want to pull the server in and out all the time so I have uh, rolled it out here and I have put the cables I just need the power on off here I need the monitor and I need the keyboard to test this out so uh, yeah I'm making this simple so I'll start by removing the RAM blocks in here And there is six RAM blocks in here. I'm gonna remove all of these because because these are the LR dims, and we want to test the other one, the R dims. So I'm gonna ground myself to the to the chassis here. Try and get myself a little bit out of your view. 
which is not always easy. On the back of the lid is uh, which ram blocks we need to put in first. So I'm gonna put in the first four ram blocks and the lid set that, that should be number I'm just gonna read it out loud for two processes. That's number one, number 13, number four and number 16. Number one is down here, goes that way. Number 13, That's uh, uh, that would be number one of the second CPU, so that must be this one. So one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Check. And then we want number and number 16 so that's the next white one here and the same thing over here number 16 would be that one there put that back on just loosely put the lid back on so that it's not to uh, to help the airflow so let's power it on I had of course turned it off and now it powers on or at least it's powered and then we're gonna power it on and see if it likes the memory it takes a little bit okay it has had some time to think about it I've been out preparing my launch See what it says. Initializing. Removing glare. Oh, this is going to be very exciting. Previous reboot due to memory initialization. System initializing memory. So far, so good. Oh, it's taking longer than I like. So this memory is 2400 megahertz and the blocks that I put in there, they are 3200 megahertz. Uh, the server is not able to use that extra speed uh, at all. So um, yeah, it, it's a bit of overkill. Yeah, this is taking way too long. Well, should I just give it a few minutes? Okay, I'll stop the camera and let it think about that. Well, at least I figured out why it didn't work last week or the week before that, because, well, this RAM doesn't work at all in this server. It just holds there. And I have been waiting for a little bit. You can see my pizza is done and I've been up on the roof uh, spraying the the roof tiles from for Mars with the Ryobi pressure washer that I reviewed in last week's video it works great for that sort of stuff a bucket and uh, yeah never mind <laughs> so yeah total failure on this one so I'm gonna put the RAM back in and we're just gonna leave it there because we didn't get well we did get smarter actually this doesn't work so this uh, the, so the awesome Lenovo X3650 model 5 does not like are dims of 64 gigabytes of size so we learned that the hard way short video and everything failed well, my pizza is done I guess that's approved so yeah if you wouldn't mind giving this video a like even though we didn't succeed we learned something and um, yeah 
just join me in the next video and hopefully you will get something that works so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye it's a very big benefit of having your own data center food is normally not allowed so. <laughs>